everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks Tech Tip. I have a hollow cylinder here and I'd like to flatten it out. So to do that I'm going to use my sheet metal application. To start, I have to break this cylinder because in order to flatten it I have to have a point where it breaks so that half of it will go one way and half of it will go the other way. So to do this just going to sketch in a line that goes to the outside edge. Once again, from the center to the outside edge. And then I'll just, I could either use uh, draw a new circle, but instead I'll select the outside edge and I'll choose convert entities. And then I'll just trim away the rest. So now I have this pie shape, which I'm going to be removing. Oops, that was an automatic sketch relation. I didn't want that. Okay, so. What I want to do is I want to have it centered firstly. So I'll go like this and I will make them make these two points vertical to one another so that if I move one, the other one will move. That way it stays centered. I'm also going to apply a one degree angle in here. Now some people say, well, why don't you just draw in a square in here, a rectangle? And the reason for that is because this line here has to be perpendicular to my, uh, to my edge. Okay, so now I'm going to insert my cut extrude. This will go through all, make it come up rather than down. And there we go. So now I have that break that I was talking about. Okay, so if I go to my sheet metal tab, and I use convert to sheet metal. One of the things people will find is that they'll say select a fixed entity. So maybe they pick this and it doesn't quite work or they pick say a face or something. Now for bend edges, <coughs> if I select this this face here, it's not going to work and the reason for that is because I selected this flat face as being as being my sheet metal parameter. So basically it's taking this as being what my sheet metal is and you can see as I adjust the thickness of it that it's taking it so that this way is up and my sheet is basically one millimeter wide and let's say it's half a millimeter thick or a quarter millimeter thick. So you can kind of see what's happening here. It won't let me pick on a uh, cylindrical face but much to my surprise, it does let me select a uh, an edge for this. Now, sometimes this has a tendency to not work so well. You'll notice that as I try and select it, this is one of those examples where I can't, where I, it won't let me select that. So let's let's cancel the command. Another trick that people will try and do is they'll say, "Okay, you want me to select a flat face, eh?" So they'll create a sketch here. They'll use convert entities and they'll create an extrude that's maybe only about half a millimeter long just so that they have a flat face in fact it could, it could even be significantly less than that so that it doesn't interfere with the actual model but for simplicity's sake I'll do it this way so now we'll go back to sheet metal tab use convert to sheet metal I'll select that as my face it's only going to be half a millimeter thick no it was a quarter and for bend edges, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to select that bend, which is the entire thing. When I click OK, it creates my part and I can flatten it. Now that's only half the story. That was actually quite painful to get to. So let's back this up a few steps. I'll delete these features. I'll delete that sketch. And we'll go back to the point just after we added that slot. So you'll notice I, I haven't added that extra material on there in order to get the flat. An easier way than using convert to sheet metal in this example is if I just use insert bends. With insert bends, if I hover over this, it lets me select a fixed face or edge. So with this, I can select my edge. Click OK and flatten it as I see fit.
Thank you.